Simple Cafe Vision, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, we're gonna get our DVD content over to our computer here, and then that way we'll be able to save it or share it however we want. Let's start off with what's happening first. This DVD player is obviously gonna be sending out its audio video signals through the yellow video cable and red and white audio cables to display uh, through any monitor, such as a TV. In this case, our display is our computer, which we know obviously doesn't have these ports, but this device here in between does. So once it, once it uh, obtains those audio video signals, in here is where it's going to process them from analog to digital. Once it's doing that, it will automatically, without being prompted, begin to forward that signal of audio video out through this USB cable, which we're gonna go ahead and plug into our computer. Now, nothing is happening here. The computer doesn't know what's going on. The way it will know what's going on is through a program that you've probably already heard of called QuickTime Player. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And the first thing we get here might throw us off, which is the finder. What's happening here is it's asking us, hey, go ahead and select the file that you wanna play through QuickTime. However, we have no file to play through QuickTime. What we do have though is a signal. And that signal can be displayed if we open up QuickTime Player's menu under File, New Movie Recording. When I select that, it's gonna go ahead and open up that window and it'll already start to display what's happening here on my DVD player, which is just the, 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 uh, the splash uh, welcome screen essentially. Now as we can see there's no content it says here that there's no signal coming in from there's no DVD there. Now if you don't get your DVD players screen like that already what you'll have to do probably is hover down here to your controls next to the record button there's a little drop down arrow. When we click on that it'll show us some options for camera. That's where you want to make sure that it doesn't say FaceTime uh, select AV to USB 2.0 in this case, yours may be called something different. So change those until you get your DVD player screen. Also while you're at it, make sure that microphone also says that same option for camera that shows your DVD content. Now let's go ahead and have content come through. We'll go ahead and enter in a home DVD movie disc. As we can see, it continues to display what's happening through my DVD player. Now what I'm going to need, you might think, let me use, there it is, there's the DVD content. Now you might think, let me use my mouse to make the selection. Actually, you'll need to keep using your DVD player's remote, so hopefully you didn't lose that. Now from here, I can go ahead and play whatever video I want. So there, I'll hit play, select that one. Now let's jump over to our computer screen and see what we do next. Remember, there's that record button. Here's the volume. I mean, you can put up a bit. Whenever you're ready, hit record. And the recording process has begun. If I want to speed it up or anything or go to the next chapter, I can do so with my DVD controls. When I'm ready to stop, I'll hit the stop button. And if I even turn off my DVD player now, that's fine. I can now go on with what I want to do with QuickTime, which is I want to save and I can do so under File, Save, or when I go close this file, it'll prompt me to save it. Export as and then just give it a name. Example. And we can save it wherever we choose. Once we click save, well, now the file can be stored, shared, or published. Whatever I want to do, as I do with my typical video files. Want to keep more videos coming? Well, you can help me stay awake with a cup of coffee. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash simplecafe, or just look right here below in YouTube with the controls, you'll find a super thanks button. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you get connected.